वेलकम टू सुब्रमानी बीइंग एन ऑप्टिमिस्ट इज नाउ ऑलमोस्ट अ कंपल्शन बिकॉज योर प्राइम मिनिस्टर योर आरबीआई गवर्नर योर फेड योर यूएस प्रेसिडेंट आई डोंट थिंक एनीबडी टुडे हैज द गट्स टू लेट द मार्केट गो डाउन एंड रिमेन डाउन फॉर से टू इयर्स और थ्री इयर्स सो आई थिंक अ लॉन्ग बेर मार्केट इज समथिंग फ्रॉम अवर मेमरी rather than from what is going to happen that's what the people believe if you have been in the market since the 1980s 90s etc you've seen bull markets you've seen bear markets in fact uh, uh, people my age which i i started investing pretty early i mean not uh, comparable to warren buffett but yeah my first transaction uh, when i did my first transaction of buying some shares it was 1979 and i was 17 years old right those days we could miners could open an account and run it themselves they didn't need their parents to run it for them like what is happening today uh so yes if you have been there so long you have seen longish recessions you have uh, seen times when nobody even looks at the paper nobody calls you if you have been a broker <coughs> sorry uh I, I, what could be worse i miss the uh, or the uh, Uh, 1992 bomb blast missed me by 75 minutes exactly because we left the place and we walked to our office and we heard we didn't hear the boom uh, the bust or anything but we heard some noise we didn't know what it was uh, we had an office about one and a half kilometers away from the Bombay Stock Exchange so we were in the stock exchange on the fourth floor. and the bomb actually went off on the first ground floor but by the time we had left so lucky to have escaped that uh, then there were calls all over the from all over the world first from home then from all over the world saying what's happening in india are you safe and things like that uh, next day was even worse we attended at least i attended 12 or 13 funerals all in one location because that was the hub where so many deaths had happened so with all that i still didn't sell my shares on the day after that uh, the then chief minister sharad pawar uh, made sure that the market was opened in a day or two to tell the world that look um, we are uh, resilient we can come back right so having seen that which is the worst because you are very lucky to be alive right you i could have been one of the 13 people who were dead right so anything like that could have happened but then optimism always is there so op- i am am i an optimist yes i am an optimist that's why i've been in the market for such a long time 44th year right uh, and uh, i just tweeted a cup yesterday that uh, i've never sold a share because i needed money i have always sold something to buy something else so i've sold uh, equity to buy debt i've sold equity to buy cash I have sold equity to buy some other equity. I have not sold gold. Uh, I have not sold equity to buy gold. I have allocated money to gold, but I have never sold equity to buy gold. I have never been able to do that. Having said, why? What am? Why am I creating this background for you? I am creating this background to tell you what is happening in the market today is complete euphoria. I, is it euphoria? I do not know whether it is as per the definition of euphoria. but today nobody wants to even hear uh, that the market is likely to come down 5% 10% 20% and stay there for 2 th- years 3 years this is just not uh, this is unthinkable so if i go on twitter and i say uh, well uh, i think the market will reach 1 lakh uh, sensex will reach 1 lakh by 2030 i am ridiculed saying anybody can say this this is easy to say say something more dynamic like for example there is somebody who thinks that if uh, Uh, Mr. Modi were to come back, that is, if BJP were to win, uh, the Sensex will reach one hundred thousand in two zero two five. Repeat, two zero two five. The market will be at one lakh, right? This is what people think, right? Uh, from where they get this optimism, I have no clue. From where do they get this fifty uh, percent year-on-year return for two years continuously? I have no clue. are they getting it from history i don't know because 2003 to 2007 market did go up so much right uh, i have no clue from where they are getting this uh, euphoric uh, tendencies or the or super optimism but uh, let me tell you what all you should be worried about right so first of all i think uh, being bullish is not wrong if i were not bullish maybe i would be dead today so i am bullish so i did not sell like i told you when the bomb blast happened i didn't sell i didn't sell i was just 30 years of age 
and remember then uh, during harshad the boom uh, didn't sell uh, sold a little bought an office so that was sensible and lucky uh, but uh, did not uh, sell enough perhaps uh, but in 1993 saw my uh, income not my portfolio portfolio anyway got decimated must have fallen 30 40% saw my income fall 95% because nobody wanted to deal in shares and i was a sub broker at that stage and there was nobody wanting to even deal in any shares right it took a long way from there doing icds and all and then we survived but being bullish is fine but uh, like prashant jain says the market is never bullish or bearish it is just changing of the cycle so if you think that banks are very high and pharma is low maybe it's a time that you uh, sell your bank and buy your pharma i am not suggesting anything i'm just saying that the market takes cycles so maybe infrastructure will do well maybe power will do well maybe steel will do well maybe banks won't do well or maybe you look at a, look at it this way that if all these industries have to do well banking has to do well i'm not saying what will do well and what will not do well but be ready for market cycles right so that is bound to happen something will uh, something will give way something will go up something will go down but be ready for all those kind of things it can't be a perennially oh you buy uh, you buy asian paints at jfc bank and uh, etc etc and you can never go wrong you will go wrong something will happen when there is a change in management like for example hfc group has lost uh, deepak pare mr deepak pare services and mr aditya puri services uh, maybe the pe and the um, price to book of uh, uh, icici bank and hfc bank will now catch up right something like that could happen don't think that perennially oh sell icici buy hfc bank is always a good uh, deal to do it's not been true for the last two years so some of these things might change it might be changing right when you are watching this video right so those kind of changes will happen don't get carried away by any idea or memes right so somebody today people think the only thing to do is you should go short on yes bank uh, suzlon uh, vodafone because these shares have to be perennially be sold and uh, shares like hfc bank asian paints and pedilite have to be perennially be bought uh, right and wrong i am not getting into whether suzlon is a grey is the next uh, tata power or uh, yes bank is the next hfc bank i am not getting into it be careful look at the numbers see what is happening when uh, uh, i normally don't like companies based out of hyderabad but when gmr infra was at 16 17 rupees my logic was very simple with these kind of assets this share can't do too badly so uh, anyway many shares have done very well from uh, march 2020 but i don't think i bought it even in march 2020 sometime later i could buy that share for 20 or 21 rupees or 22 rupees today it is at 52 rupees gmr is it a great share no but it has given me good returns will i sell it off i don't know i'm when i'm giving you examples i'm just giving you examples from my uh, my portfolio do i have yes bank i bought yes bank i've sold i've done many things i still hold yes bank do i have hfc bank yes since 1994 do i hold asian paints yes do i hold pedilite yes Uh, so all these are examples from my portfolio but i am not saying that oh because if you see gillet um, didn't do as well as colgate did same uh, profile so you think so many indian shave so many women i mean uh, gillet has women shaving products also so you think oh it will do well it didn't do well but colgate did well you think oh patanjali will take over from colgate yes maybe it will maybe over 10 years 15 years 20 years maybe all those things will happen but right now colgate is doing well gillette is not doing too well so be careful about which shares you are buying what you if you if you are not keen on all that all that stick to an index fund that's still a good story right uh, if you don't know what to buy be careful about what you are buying but don't get carried away by story saying oh such a big population all men have to shave uh, well if all men are like virat kohli then nobody will shave right everybody is not clean shaven so is gillette doing well maybe it's doing well is it a good time to buy i don't know last 4 5 years colgate has done better than gillette right so to say that every share will do well because india has got the demography and all that is fine but uh, may true or uh, true or false you you only time will tell you uh, the um, the estimates which are uh, analysts make 
are very nice to see and read but how to interpret it is very difficult because in the bull market people say oh uh, don't worry about the estimate this company is doing well it is building market share etc etc therefore it will do well and exactly when the markets go down people will say but this is so obvious how could uh, how could indigo do well look at the numbers they just don't add up just one quarter they did well doesn't mean indigo is a good buy doesn't mean zomato is a good buy look at the losses they make when the same data is presented to them in the bull market they'll say see whatever all said and done indigo numbers may not be good but remember they have 62 percent market share look at uh, like maruti has a 50 plus percent market share zomato is building market share they are penetrating the market so in a bull market same data looks good in the bear market same data looks like i think indigo is worth selling at 2500 because the markets are only likely to go down fine both these theories you will hear so looking at estimates when you look at estimates of people what people say what is going to happen in the future just remember god sits up there and he must be smiling laughing cracking up i don't know look at this very simple thing uh, mr ratan tata thought mr cyrus mistry will take over from him forget the political part that uh, cyrus mistry is no longer was no longer part of tatas but cyrus mistry died first right mr tata is alive god bless his soul may he live to 100 but when you estimate that you cyrus mistry is so much younger to you so therefore he will take over god's plans are different so when you look at estimates made by um, analysts just remember these are just estimates there is nothing for you to feel good or bad about the data the same guys will come out with something else and say oh this uh, pattern is broken now you should sell the nifty will go down and at the same time some other share which could be doing very well uh, completely beating your expectations both could happen right uh, Suzlon was a completely written off company at 6 rupees but those who bought it at 6 rupees are laughing their way because it's at 20 rupees JMR was available at 20 rupees today it is at 52 rupees right all these things happen yes bank came with an ipo at 12 uh, it went to 20 or 19 or something then it went back to 12 then now it is at 17 18 is it a good share i have no clue is it a share there in my portfolio yes i bought it at 12 because i believe that if hjfc bank and sbi uh, can buy it uh, i can't go too wrong with the price right Am I discounting the value of Yes Bank too much into the future? Maybe. Am I building a portfolio for 2033? No. Am I building a portfolio for 2040? Maybe yes. So I am not building a 10 year portfolio. Maybe I am building a 20 year portfolio. Maybe for me it looks good. For you, does it look good? You have to decide. I am not recommending Yes Bank. I'm rec I have no clue whether it will do well in the long run. But I have it because I thought at 12 it can't be too bad a buy right so then there is this fear of uh, uh, fear of saying oh my god the market is going to go up so i have to buy uh, my neighbor has bought my friend has bought etc but i thought it worked fomo worked more in the uh, in buying assets which are visible to people why should it matter you can just go and tell people that you have invested it doesn't matter whether you have actually invested but FOMO is a real big worry. So uh, people are worried about FOMO. People should be careful about FOMO. So being optimistic when others are pessimistic is fine. Uh, being pessimistic when others are optimistic is fine. But it can happen that you sell today and the market is at 67,000 on the Sensex. Then the market goes up to 72,000 and you say, oh my God, I shouldn't have listened to Subra. So you go and buy it again at 72,000, then the market falls, it comes down to 60,000, you say, oh, I should have waited. So patience is something which we all need, right? Uh, Santushti and Saburi, right? These are two things you need. Saburi uh, uh, is something like, uh, yes, it is about patience. Uh, Santushti is about satisfaction. If you have got 18% return, be happy with it. Don't worry about your neighbor in small cap who got 32% return. Yes, it is bound to happen, but that 32% cannot be followed by 12%. 32% has to be followed by a number which will be much lesser so that the average return comes to 12%. So, uh, remember all this while you are investing. Remember that in the last few years, uh, maybe since 2020, the market has done extremely well. We are all bullish. Uh, we know that the government will not want to be very bearish. But remember, 
companies, countries are all run by human beings. There are human frailties. Human beings can fall ill. Human beings can die. Uh, uh, Congress party can revive. BJP party can have infighting. All these things can happen. 2024, lot of uncertainty. All of us are optimistic that uh, Mr. Vajpayee uh, would have come back in 2004. He didn't. Uh, so, in 2024, again, we are all optimistic that Mr. Uh, Narendra Modi will come back with 370 seats. What happens if he doesn't? Are we ready for that? That's the question you have to answer. Thank you.